Welcome to another episode where I try to improve, but end up messing up most of the skins in CSGO by adding a colour shifting, pearlescent coating to stuff. As an example, this fade revolver looks nice, but I wanted it to become more purple bluish. And I got what I wanted. It's just that it also came with an unhealthy dollop of neon pink. My only weakness. With great pearlescence comes great responsibility, so I reduced the strength of the effect to two and shifted it the other way, leading to an only slightly less horrible mustard yellow instead. I reckon if the original skin's colours had been more subtle then it would have been okay, but then it wouldn't have looked so good in the first place. This Zion Liu skin is a lot more hopeful. It's already in the purple spectrum so I don't need to worry about that anymore. So let's start with a nice large value of minus eight which retains the character of the weapon, but when flicked around, shows flashes of blue and green. I really like this, so flip the value which makes the colours cycle the other way around the spectrum, shifting from purple through to orange, yellow and green. While I say I like this skin, I also like how it looked originally, so don't take this video as me demanding each skin goes RGB just for the sake of it. I'll make this one quick because it's boring. I started with a value of 3 for this hydrographic finish and it did nothing to it, so I upped it all the way to 100 which was enough just to seemingly reduce the blue colour saturation, but nothing more than that. Next, and the same thing happened to this custom paint job finished Arctic Wolf. Did you know that the MP5s get a raw deal in CSGO? There isn't a single covert grade skin, and just one of the second best classified grade, which is this one. This being the gunsmith finish, a pearlescent value of 15 did more to it than it did the previous few, but I don't think suited the appearance of this weapon. I shouldn't have done it to this one. And then I upped the value to 100, making it display horrible neon pink with alarming frequency. Let's move on. This orc uses the same gunsmith finish as the MP5, but mimics an entirely different material and the pearlescent effect reflects this. A value of just 2 was enough to shift it into the purple, but thankfully not in a horrible way. Still, I wanted to see what it did the other way and negative three made it a pleasant greenish blue. I'm happy I finally got the effect to look nice after having butchered so many. I don't think the Mag 7 Heat needs any colour shifting, but I was curious to see what it would look like if I made it more reddish. But of course it skipped that and went straight for neon pink. Let's just move on. Back to butchering skins again now it seems. The new FAMAS commemoration is great, but wouldn't making it more orangey also look cool? Again it went straight to neon pink. The bane of my life. I don't think going the other way into lime green would have looked a lot better, honestly. Red doesn't exist in pearlescent land, as when I tried to darken the Imperial Dragon's colours, it changed to purpley pink instead, but it pulls it off better than most. The Desert Naga, being almost devoid of colours, means that it's almost immune to its pearlescent value, but not quite. I ramped it up to the maximum rating of 100 and it made it look as though the whole weapon was a little bit oily. This can be most clearly seen, suitably, on the handle. Those dirty little counter-terrorists should learn to wash their hands before matchmaking. I like it, even if it's no longer the intended look of the weapon. But my favourite is the Ruby Poison Dart. It's shamelessly RGB, but I don't care. It cycles through the colours in a mesmerising fashion as the angles change, too. And the Atomic Alloy with the same anodized multicolour finish does the same thing, but maybe less tastefully since the bits of colour are a lot bigger. Still, I'm sure there's a buyer for this out there somewhere. The Royal Consorts actually have pearl-handed grips, making them ideal to test this effect on, and they're certainly affected by a pearlescent value. It's a little unfortunate that the rest of the guns are a tad golden, as this is also affected by the effect, turning mint green. Still, that's a small price to pay for RGB grips, even if the purple hues are a little overpowered. I cycled through the colours the other way and the handles again looked excellent, even if the rest of the weapons turned a purple blue. The m 4 Royal Paladin, much like the Naga, is just asking to be coated in oil. A value of 50 certainly did that, and I think with a few tweaks to its base colours and brightness, it could actually look pretty decent. I also found success with a more subtle value of 12, which bunches the colours less tightly, resulting in a less confused, less noisy appearance. And last is the Magma. Not sure what I was thinking with this one. It's never been a skin I've particularly liked and I only managed to make it look worse, betraying its name in the process. It's been fun to mess around with the effect, and you do learn from making mistakes, so by now I know a hell of a lot about it.